Hello and welcome to this special one-off edition of Dartsman's Key Secret Life. We're going to be on the subject of darts tonight. No, it's not a game of 501, but it is related to a game of 501 in this interview, which I will be delivering to the nation in just a moment. A few people have asked me, is it Phil Taylor that I'm going to be interviewing? Nope. <clears throat> Paul Nicholson? Nope. Is it Michael Van Gowen? Nope. Barney? Nope. But I'll cut to the chase. Joining me on the line is a lady who is no stranger to the darts nation. She became the first ever ladies BDO darts champion in 2001 when she beat Mandy Solomons 2-1. And this was shortly following Gail King making history becoming the first woman to compete in the PDC World Championship. Following a 3-1 defeat by Graham Stoddart, to which a lot of the male players have campaigned alongside the women to have a ladies championship for Lakeside. She's a 10-time Ladies World Champion, 5-time Ladies Winnow Masters Champion. Yes, I'll say no more. Please welcome live on Messenger, it's the Golden Girl, Miss Trina Gulliver, MBE. Good evening, Trina. Hi, David, how are you? I'm very well, how's you? Not too bad, thank you. Good, good. I'll start off this interview, Trina, with a very simple question. How did you start off your career in darts? Mother and Dad used to have a pub years and years ago, and uh, they come out of the... Um, Rory trade when I was four, so it's always been a bit of a, a family interest. I'm the youngest of five. Yeah. And um, but I, I started playing really when I was fourteen in the in the local local. To, well, I used to go and watch my mum and my sister play. Yeah. And um, and then I used to I used to play afterwards, sort of thing, and have a practice like that. So apparently, I threw my first dart at the age of two on a stool in the bowling green end in South. Oh God. Yeah. The legendary Maureen Flowers, obviously we know who that is, Linda Duffy, uh, Sonia Ralphs and Lil Coombs all made history dominating the women's division in the 70s and 80s. And another history making was for yourself, Trina, in 2001 when you beat Mandy Solomons for your first BDO world title. And I bet, I must uh, assume that was a special moment for you. Yeah, of course, you know, it was, a, it was the first ever uh, Ladies World um, Championship. Um, um, so, you know, we fought so hard as well to, to get that in place and for that to finally come about was great and, and to win it on the, on the first attempt and the very first one. It's brilliant. Yeah, because I remember watching it when I was um, 13 and I actually thought Mandy had you because I know she was up 1-0. But I was obviously chant I was chanting for you to come back and you did manage to come back and tie it 1-1 and when you hit 2-1 it was a really good uh, a good match that was. You know, then, then it was a shorter format because although it was over, over um, three sets, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah. But it was only best of three legs. It was. Now it's over five, five legs per set. So, which is still a short format, but um, you know, then it was it was really tough to uh, you know you had to be on the ball straight away. Yeah, you, you do. do. You do now with the same with the same um, error. You can't make no error, otherwise no. You're, you're on the back foot all the time. No, that's right. Um, I've noticed, obviously, as well, um, in the 2014 and 15 um, World Ladies Darts Championship, um, I noticed you've had a great deal of uh, difficulty trying to find the treble 20. Was that, is that just like a, a form that was coming and going for yourself? Um, I don't know, really. I think, you know, there's things happen in your, life, your lifetime as well, sort of thing. But, uh, yeah. uh, you know, I, I lost my mum previous to them. them Previous to that, and it uh, it's, it took me uh, in 2012. I lost my mum, and yeah. that was a major, a major, major yeah, devastation for me. And it took me a while to get back because mum was always there at Lakeside. Yeah, and you know she was my biggest fan, and uh, I missed her not being there. I mean, I still miss her generally. Everybody miss, misses their parents, and I'm sure she's up there know. watching down on you, seeing go for a girl. Yeah, she probably is, and she's probably wagging her finger at me and telling me off on a few occasions yes. as well. <laughs> Should be saying, pack that in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Trina, um, did, did you have any favourite dog players from a young age when you were growing up? Um, yeah, I guess so. Uh, the more male-orientated, really, was um, um, Bob Anderson was one of my favourites, to be fair. Ryan Stone, Ryan, Ryan Stone yeah. Cowboy. Yeah, uh, Eric as well. Yes, Eric. Uh, Eric, Eric. Eric's a character, isn't he? So, he is. Um, uh, um, Andy Fordham. Yes. Best mate Phil and Martin Adams. Oh, and well. speaking of Andy so, Fordham, you almost beat him, didn't you, in a men's tournament? Uh, you mentioned the Dave Spikey, <laughs> but he'd narrowly yeah. got you just. 
it's all about communication, isn't it? Yes. So, you know, that came out in 2002. We, we found a, um, a uh, publisher pretty easy, actually, which was which was great. So, um, yes, that's, that's that. that is it. How do you feel being near the title MBE? MBE? Well, that was a letter and a half through the post. That was, that was uh, so I was thinking, well, I've paid my tax bill. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't read it properly, like the, the, the envelope properly. And when I opened it, I had to read it and read it and read it again. So um, I couldn't believe it. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. Well, once again, congratulations on that. Thank you very much. Um, as well, do you have any hobbies in your spare time when you're not flown at the board? Oh, I like to do a bit of fishing, actually. Fishing, yeah. Oh, well, fishing's a good yeah. sport, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of fishing. Um, I was actually in the uh, PDC World Championships last year. Um, with the we had a team of ladies in that, and um, and two of the walk-on girls, Charlotte and Daniela, um, and the the lady presenter as well. Uh, I think her name's Ju. Oh, I can't think of her name. What's well, your blonde? Look, yes. Here's a Levine. Who? Here's a Levine. Gabby Logan. No. no. Um. Picture her with I want to say Julie something. Julia, Julie. No, that's wrong. I can't think of her name. I'm sure it'll come back to mind at some point. Yeah. Um, um, obviously, obviously, you might have to be able to look that up and cut it in or something. Yeah. Oh, yes. do you know um, another humorous question? But obviously, I'll keep that. I'll keep it as brief as possible for you. Um, yeah. The governess, Frosty Niggers, Anne Hegarty, thought that you were a ten-time weightlifting champion. What was your reaction <laughs> with that? <laughs> Hilarious when somebody told me that I was thinking, oh my word. Tina Gulliver is a 10 times world champion in what sport? Weightlifting. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't think you could ever dream that, actually, let alone doing <laughs> it sort of thing, you know. Isn't it? No. Definitely not. Certainly not. Maybe, but no. Not a weightlifter. <laughs> You're a qualified trainer as well, Trina, um, obviously, from what you've. Uh, mentioned uh, in, on a few occasions. How did you start that off? It was something that I wanted to do right from from the off, really, and um, from school. And I did. You know, do you remember back in the day when you used to have a day off and do a work experience? Yeah. I don't know whether they still still do that now, but that's what I did. Like a placement. To do. Yeah, like a placement. So um, that's what I decided to do. And 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 there was only in my small town of Southam. There was only one uh, building firm that was willing to give me a chance at it, and uh, which was Silverstone Builders. And uh, you know, he, um, I went to a fit interview after school in my school uniform, and uh, just to say, right, why do you, why do you want to do this? He said, and I said, well, I just like making things out of wood, and you know, quite good with my hands with stuff like that. Park bench or something. Cool. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so. Um, and he says, okay, he says, I'll give you I'll give you a chance at it. He says, um, but there are conditions. And I says, and what are they? And he says, uh, you, you, you don't expect to be treated um, any different to the men. I says, no, that's completely, I have no issues with that whatsoever. Yeah. He says, he says that's it. Okay. Obviously, okay. Speaking, of, speaking of like um, men and women, PDC is all about equality as well because obviously Rachel Brooks has uh, joined the lads on the tournament uh, qualifying stages. Um, if they offered you a, a slot to compete, would you consider taking it? Or? I've always said never say never. You know, it's, um, at this point in PDC, people are going to be looking at you Never say never. Never say never. Finally, Trina, any advice to newcomers taking up darts? Um, I'd say 
Well, just that, you, you know, you've got to work hard. And um, you don't, it's the same as anything. Anything you choose to do in life, you know, you, you don't get something for nothing. No. You know, you have to work hard. You have to train hard. You have to put that dedication in. You have to put that commitment in. And, uh, and if you're prepared to do that, but then most of the time you'll be successful. And you need to be lucky as well with sponsors. And, that, and that's another thing. It's not just about your ability to throw. It's the ability to have mental attitude as well. And it's your ability to actually sit at a computer and write loads of letters to try and get sponsors. Yeah. So, you know, there's... Okay, there might be other people that can do that for you, but also it looks good if you're putting in, in the effort yourself as well. So... There's a lot. There's a lot more to it than just being able to throw a dart. Exactly. That's uh, yeah. that's what, that's the issue about it as well, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Trina, gonna get yeah. MBE. Thank you very much for joining me on this edition. You're welcome. And I'll send you a copy once it's all done. You as well. All the Thank you very much for watching this special edition of the Key Secret Life. A big thank you to Trina Gulliver MBE once again. Join me for series three very very soon. Keep a lookout. So from Trina and from me, till the next time, goodbye.